Bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, I've missed y'all so much. Even though it was like 48 hours, it was 48 hours too long away from y'all. But it was a must needed rest that I had to do because all those crazy downloads, you probably felt me being worn out. Because <laughs> sister was worn out. So with that being said, thank you so much for the appreciation and still giving out that support. I greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, I would love for you to drop a line or two, you know, so I can get the positive feedback and as well as me getting to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibe or good info that you think that another empath needs to truly hear especially at this time of need right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support that you give me again and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I forgot to tell y'all again last time, like I told y'all uh, from my other previous videos from a few days ago, I'm going to be putting my daughter's website on my um, in my description. She's an artist as well as a poet. And, you know, I'm very... Um, proud of my daughter you know um she is trying to publish her book out for different poets and you know people that you know are artistic you know writing and drawing and painting you know i'm go ahead and post her link in the description box below this is one of her drawings uh excuse the naked woman but you know i really feel like it's it's not about being naked is is um for my symbol it you know my opinion on the symbol uh, of the painting is like you're being free you know you're walking in your true form you're being powerful in everything that you have so um i really love that painting she sent that to me and um i will be posting her website if you can go ahead and donate to her even if it's a dollar or two is greatly appreciated so i will be posting her link in the description box below so go ahead and um stop by there and let her know that her, your mom her mom sent her sent you goodness but anyways, today my um, my med meditation link video I'm listening to, which is very beautiful and has got me calm, um, is purifying yourself, clear all negative energy, boost positive energy, deep sleep meditation music, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, don't panic when your messages come through your third eye. It's like I was telling y'all about the psychic flu or the spiritual flu that we're all going through. It's like lately when I'm getting my downloads and it hurts my head so bad. You know, some people can be able to do it. You know, some people practice on opening their third eye and stuff like that. I don't do that because I said I'm going to just let it open when it comes open. When it needs to come open, it's going to do that. Because with me, it gives me really bad migraines, you know, and a lot of empaths. You know, deal with a lot of migraines. I know my grandbaby, she hits them a lot. You know, I, it makes me cry because it's just like you can't give a baby nothing for that. And she'll be just doing this. You know, at times or she'll be hitting her head. And I know there's, you know, because both of her parents are empaths. So she's like a very powerful one. Because there's times, like I said, baby, can I get some loving energy from you? And she'll give me a big hug. And I felt like a big boost of energy. So it's like she understands what I'm saying, is, especially when I see her. I don't see her as a baby. I see her as an old soul. Like she, I think she's like my great grandmother reincarnated into her because that girl act, you know, she's she's very advanced for her being a, a year old. It's like she's doing a duck face and stuff like that in certain pictures, like your profile. And I'm like, this girl is only one years old. She shouldn't be doing that. But it's like you should never panic because sometimes. You know, things will come to us and downloads. They'll have us like, oh my God, what's going on with me? Don't, don't, you know, what's going on with me? Because it can make you sometimes have heart palpitations. And I've been experiencing that a lot lately. So when Source is telling me, hey, you know, let them know, you know, when this starts to hurt, like you'll probably hear cracking. A lot of cracking. I do. <laughs> I hear it and it's like all this pressure that's coming around here towards your temple from the up you know above your eyebrows to your you know to your temple that you'll probably experience a lot of that that's going on and it's like a lot of us are starting to ascend more into our power and you know that is a congratulations to y'all because it's like you know if you're not fighting 
you know, fighting your gift, like fighting against it. Like, I don't want to deal with this. Uh-uh. I'm avoiding this. I'm not. Because the more you avoid, the more traumatic things get around you. You know, you have to come into your true self, merge towards that way. Because if they're telling me, hey, you need to tell them this, because a lot of them, some of the people are acknowledging their gift, but there's some of them that are like, you know, they're wanting to put this block up. And you can't do that. Because if you don't start acknowledging it, universe will put you in positions well they'll make you acknowledge it and you don't want them to do that <laughs> i'm trying to just tell you you don't want them to do that because if it do it's gonna get hellish for you because trust me when i wasn't recognizing the things i was supposed to be recognizing especially from a year or two ago or probably even three it got really hellish for me it got really hellish for me and it's just like I, i'm starting to embrace my gift a lot more uh than i used to and it's just like the more i embrace it the more um, I, and you also, when you're going through that, you need to let universe know, source know that you, you, you're grateful for these things, even though it might be feeling it, you know, I always used to say blessing is like a blessing and it's curse, but it's more of a blessing than a curse. You might, the curse part is that all the hell you had to go through just to acknowledge that situation. But the blessing is when you're able to see things without that veil, you know, fresh pair of eyes. Um, going through that, you have to go through that, you know, and it, it might put you through some traumatic things, but if you can look at it from a positive perspective, you're, you have to be blessed that the fact is you had to go through that because the situations, the, the trauma, traumatic situations you have gone through has allowed you to become stronger for you to be able to acknowledge these things and knowing there had to happen for a reason. Yeah, they put you in some crazy ass spots, but it was something that you had to really go through to get where you are now you know and i always tell people don't ever and it could be a sad situation because i mean it's like through, going through my spiritual awakenings and you go through many many because it's probably you know if i look back at it i started going through mine when my mother passed and that was in 2005 so it's like i've been going through them for many years but it took me that long just for me to recognize these are spiritual awakenings you had to go through it to where you're losing loved ones you're losing best friends you're losing lovers you know you might be getting going through a divorce or breaking up with someone you had to go through all these major trauma for you to be able to go through what you're going through you know it's just like more times you know my mom and my mom was the first one to pass well actually my sister my adopted sister she passed and i was going through a spiritual awakening and that was in 1992. then it jumped again with my my mom going through Oh, excuse me going through cancer aneurysm and body can't she went through cancer body cancer aneurysm tumors and a heart attack and a stroke all at one time and that is a lot to put on a person and it was like i felt everything she was going through anytime her head was hurting her stomach was upset or my hands would go numb i start dropping things it, it, going through everything my mom was going through and i thought it was it's kind of like going through my mom's stigmata not actually going through it with god but going through it with her because God wanted me to know everything she was going through so I felt it with her mentally and emotionally and spiritually but it was just a blessing to be able to help take care of her and be there as much as I can the best I can you know and it, I mean it's sad at times but I can at least say with my mom's passing me and her were able to heal because we didn't have a good relationship you know uh it's growing up because it was like a lot of things that my father put her through and i really didn't understand it and he had me to that point where i didn't like my mom he he brainwashed me to not care for my mom and i see that he had to do that with my my children as well towards me so it's just a blessing to be able to recognize the things that went on in your life that you wish you could have changed but you know you had to go through that for a reason so it's just like all these things that might be coming at you um that you might be you know transitioning to we're all transitioning into towards our true true selves our authentic true selves you know we're taking off all these masks all these veils you know we're going through all these different transitions to be able to acknowledge ourselves for who we truly are so show universe gratitude be grateful that you went through no matter how traumatic it is because you wouldn't have been able to know your true self for who you were really are if you not go, you did not go through these things and acknowledge them and heal from them also heal from the traumatic things that's been on i'm still transitioning and healing and you know i tell y'all this all the time y'all if you've been with me for a while you know the things that i've been through i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy i really wouldn't and I'm so blessed that I went through this situation, even though it took me of losing my father in a process. 
I know there's things that has not unfolded yet that will come into play later on once everything you know dies down so I know everything had to happen for a reason even though I'm you know it's just a blessing for me to be able to still watch videos see my dad's pictures being able to talk to him metaphysically so it's just like he never really left me even though his physical body has the spiritual part part has it so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video much love and light to y'all and much i like i said before i really miss y'all and i love y'all so much so i'm sending out loving energy and positive energy towards your way you know especially if you truly need it right now if you are going through some crazy things which i wouldn't be surprised if you are um let me see my post notification shut out goes to let me see let me see who am i gonna put today Busey. Uh, Matula, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, and Katie Stat, I hope y'all are doing blessed and highly favored and sending loving energy and comforting energy, especially with you acknowledging everything you have to go through right now. And send out as much light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.